Welcome everybody to Renaissance Boys. This is episode 34 of the best show on the internet. Um, these, this is our special guest for this week. Uh, two guys from a podcast. Uh, introduce your, yourselves. Uh, my name is Zane Zook. Um, I'm one of the co-hosts of There's Always Next Year. Uh, I'm also on There's Always Next Year. I'm Drew Tyrion. And Zane does like all the heavy lifting, but I'm there too. <laughs> you can see in the camera framing. Zane's just all, all up front. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah um, remember, if you guys want to uh, send us anything for next week, remember uh, we have a Discord, and you also can send us send stuff to our business email, um, suggestions for next week. Um, with that said, let's hop into the news. Uh, are you guys familiar with Sky High? The original? Yes. 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 <laughs> Great movie. That um, a classic. Uh, it's been on Disney Plus, I think since since it launched, if I remember correctly. I didn't realize that it was a, a made for Disney movie, like the the, sh- the Disney Channel. But uh, evidently, um, there's a rumor going around right now that, uh, depending on how people feel about it, how much pushback there is for it, um, there is a possibility for a sequel to this movie. Um, it, the original came out in 2005. Uh, so, what do you, <laughs> what do you guys think? Will the original cast basically be the teachers? Um, if there that was, seems that. like a Disney thing to do. It's, I think that they'd do that. It's possible. Uh, basically, one of the writers, uh, McCorkle, is his name, Mark McCorkle. Uh, <laughs> he basically told Inverse that uh, he believes a sequel to the movie would be a natural fit for Disney, um, and that that if fans want it to happen, they can let their voices be heard by streaming uh, and tweeting their support for the idea. Um, which, I don't... I'm trying to remember if there's another movie like this that, that happened to. Um, no, I can't I can't remember. Do you remember any movie that was like that? No, I can't think no, of it. Disney's got their, like, billion-dollar budget, though. I feel like if they really just even kind of want the movie, they can totally do it. For, they could spend, like, $200 on a Sky High 2 and, and put it out there, honestly. Has anyone heard of the Star Wars franchise? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I saw a there post. I saw a post recently that said strong female characters are so strong that they killed franchises with forty, gen- 40 years of fans, uh, oh. <laughs> which was rough. It was some some other franchise too. I think it was Star Trek. But um, there was a I don't know if it's a rumor where this came from. Um, th- okay, there's there's leaks for um, the rise of Skywalker. Uh, there was a reported three cuts of the movie. Um, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy cut. Uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger had a, had a cut of the movie. Um, and a George Lucas cut of the, uh, of the movie. Um, <laughs> it recently came out that uh, George Lucas' cut of the movie scored much better than um, <laughs> the other two cuts of the movie in test screenings. So... <laughs> Has this I mean, been... It's like- not even a surprise, though, really. No. They, those, the, that sec, the third trilogy just sucked. Like, it's plain and simple. It, it didn't necessarily <laughs> kill Star Wars, especially since I think Disney Plus is going to, like, kind of save it. Yeah, especially but, with Mandalorian and, and Clone Wars. But um, basically, most fans, me included, I'm sure Zane is, Zane is you know, a little bit, a little bit frustrated with how Star Wars is uh, in the movies. Yeah. Um, I know we mentioned this earlier. Basically, all of big tech is in like big trouble right now. Um, Good. Basically, they're questioning a bunch of different things. Jeff Bezos about um, how they're using some third-party data, and um, evidently, he's just like, "Yeah, uh, we have this code for um, what we do with third-party data, but I can't say we haven't breached it." And he's also <laughs> just didn't answer some other questions, which was strange. Um, Zuckerberg got asked a bunch of stuff about Instagram because there's actually some leaked emails um, that came out about um, basically Zuckerberg back in 2012 was talking about Instagram as a really big threat to Facebook <laughs> and the FCC approved it back when um, they had that merger. I don't remember what year it was but it was, it was a while ago. Call of Duty Cold War finally leaked uh, from a Doritos promo of, of all things. So, Wait, what is it? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War um, was released, or was at least revealed um, by a leaked Doritos yeah. campaign. Basically, they found, um, you know, promotional stuff <laughs> in order to, like, 
you know, to sell the stuff, like the Master Chief stuff. The Doritos bag. That's that's going to be the name then, probably, is Cold War. That's what yeah. it's saying. I wonder what decade of the Cold War, you know, because you've got like oh. 30, 40 years of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Is it going to be like a 40-year-long story campaign, you know? I couldn't tell you. But um, if they if they tacked right off of where Black Ops One ended, I think that would be pretty cool. This is so that would be Vietnam. Cool. What what people are saying is that this is probably going to be um, basically like what Modern Warfare did for that franchise, where it's like you get most of the same characters, but in a different universe, and so you get different interactions mm-hmm. and stuff. But like you know, it's recognizable. Um, oh, yeah. So wait, I thought they were gonna wait a year to put out a new COD game because of how well like Warzone and stuff was doing. Yeah, so that's what that's what people are saying. It would make sense, um, and it would be really good, but also really unprecedented because Call of Duty's been doing that for what like twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> a game a year. So I've I've always said that that would be a good thing, but who knows? Red Dead Redemption Online finally gets an update. Um, <laughs> I think two weeks ago we talked about a protest in game where people yeah. were people were dressing up as a different uh, outfit every every week, um, and they had a clown protest basically because they they had taken forever to release a Red Dead Redemption update, uh, which you know for a game that's so new it was getting starved of content. Um, GTA Five is still getting updates, so finally they got a new role and some other stuff like wardrobe changes. A new class, some other tweaks and upgrades. Um, so it was just a, it was just a clothing update. I mean, that's not there's, what they there's really wanted. A, another like role, which is apparently a big deal. I'm not sure entirely how the how the how that works, but like I'm assuming with the way that they phrase it, it's a big deal. This was posted July 27th, so two <laughs> major drops of information of code was leaked. Um, it's, this is called like the Nintendo Giga Leak. Um, this is revealed previously unknown games, prototypes, source code, development tools, internal communications, and like a lot more. Um, it's one of the biggest leaks of video game stuff, like, ever. Um, and the reason that this is a big deal is because um, you guys have you guys have you guys you guys played Mario sixty four. You guys have been to the um, the courtyard where the where the booze are. Um. Uh, there's a, there's a little plaque that says L is real, 241. And that's what people say. That's what they speculate. It, it's some really illegible text. Um, what they were able to figure out through this code and whatever whatever stuff that was leaked, um, evidently, Luigi uh, was originally av- available to play um, as a character in Mario 64, the original Mario 64. Um, but he was dropped sometime in development because they were running short. Uh, but... <laughs> modders were able to take all this original code um, that was that was leaked and <laughs> they were able to actually reconstruct um, <laughs> Luigi from the source the source code uh, that's crazy 24 years and a month after after the original Mario 64 released which is kind of crazy that's even crazier so there's also a lot of other stuff as well um, there's a Pokemon MMO from 2004 that was re- revealed uh there's Ocarina of Time stuff for this. I think the CD drive um, that, that that was released with this. There was a y- Yoshi's Island prototype that was revealed. Some game called Super Donkey. Um, some very early Mario Kart 64 or Super Mario Kart um, work, as well as a Zelda 2 remake kind of thing. Um, as well as Pokemon Diamond and Pearl betas were released, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna sit send this image because it is, um, <laughs> it's really funny. In chat, uh, basically they have some sprites and some um, really old leaks uh, from when Diamond and Pearl were in development. Um, Super Mario World sprites. Um, yeah, like this is a huge, huge thing of information that just dropped, kind of out of nowhere. So, um, if you're a Nintendo fan, like this is a really cool time. If you guys don't mind me asking, where'd you get your name? Um, <laughs> I kind of came up with it. I was driving to Youngstown one day. I was thinking about what what to name this podcast, um, and I kind of wanted to do. Um, originally, I wanted to make this podcast like. 
a very general like life advice podcast um or just like kind of yeah. kind of in the vein of Joe Rogan um mm-hmm. which would be cool it's just it's a little tough um and you know <laughs> as far as i know like i'm i'm the only host of this show that's like or like there's three of us and we're all from the same place so it's we're we're not exactly all Joe Rogan, but <laughs> we're not that um, I, I wanted I wanted to do uh, you know the idea of like becoming a Renaissance man. That was like one of the things I wanted to do with this channel. Um, but the the twist of that um, was that uh, you know we're not still in college. You know we're still we're still working towards it. So we're Renaissance boys and not Renaissance men. Um, and it's kind of in the same vein as like you know like the Beach Boys, where it's like it's just a group of guys hanging out. Um, so that's okay. that's kind of where yeah. the idea came from. Um, gotcha. I did not want to go to medieval style, Tony. That's not what that means. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, if there's probably no more no more news for us to talk about, um, <laughs> thank you so much everybody for watching. Uh, if you missed any any of this live, be sure to check it out on YouTube um, or any place where you can listen to podcasts. Make sure to check out these guys' podcast. Um, it's coming back soon. It's called uh, There's Always Next Year. Definitely go check it out. Support them on YouTube. Subscribe. 